literally, I think, of the first 50 patients I looked after, almost 49 of them died. You know, that contrasts now with the fact that two-thirds of the children will be cured. There are children dying every day of diseases that five years from now they may not have to die from. But if you're the parent of that child, five years is too long to wait. I think there is absolutely a sense of urgency in where we are in the field of research right now. The explosion of biological knowledge at the moment is just absolutely amazing. We can do things now that are sort of science fiction, you know, nobody ever imagined having that capacity. So now is the prime time, and unfortunately it's coming at the time when, when federal dollars are low. The opportunity that we have very much hinges on our ability to raise the money to do the research, to do the good work that's going to save those kids' lives someday. It's amazing how much work we can and will do with relatively little money and how we can leverage that into real change in the lives of children. Our work couldn't happen without donors. Uh, what we do couldn't happen without the selflessness of giving that people engage in without the vision that they have for thinking that there's a better way, um, that we shouldn't be happy just with what we have now, but we should always strive to do better. I think without charitable donations, uh, this laboratory would not exist. It's a very expensive endeavor. There was a significant startup expense, and there's uh, continuing needs, uh, both for equipment and for research. Donor support is also incredibly important to children's experiences while they're in the hospital. There's a lot of things that make children's hospitals a special place that is not paid for by insurance, that is not paid for by Medicaid. One of the great things about Children's Colorado is the way all the different parts of the hospital interact and actually really focus on delivering the very best and the most innovative therapy to the kids. Courage, I think, is pervasive in everything that happens here. I think we're doing things here that are not done anywhere around the world. Think of it this way, the research of today becomes the standard of care tomorrow. So if we have a child with heart failure who is diagnosed as an infant, if we can make outcome for that child better, we could be adding 60 to 80 years of productive life to that person. We are very lucky that we have committed people who keep coming back and saying, you know, what, what more can we do? How can we help? And I think that's very genuine. And I think when you look into a child's eyes and realize that their lives have been positively affected because of that, it seems pretty simple.